For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem with uh, traffic lights. They want you to determine the tensions of AB, BC and CD necessary to support the 10 kilogram and 15 kilogram uh, traffic lights at B and C. Also they want you to find this angle theta. So I'm gonna start right here because I have the weight of both. As you can see, you have the weight of both traffic lights, but this one gives you an extra bit piece of information, which is 15 degrees. And that usually tells you where to start. So let me draw it. This is B. And it has a weight of 10 kilograms times 9.81 which is the acceleration of gravity meters per second square and the weight comes out to be 98.1 newtons now we got a tension BC and a tension AB and an angle of 15 degrees so you know in statics the sum of the forces in the y and in the x are zero so you know that the tension AB times the sine of 15 degrees minus the weight because the weight's going down is equal to zero let me draw the orientation x y always get into the habit of drawing the orientation of your free body diagrams so you know the weight 98.1 so you just solve for the tension plug in the weight value that we just calculated and solve for the tension and you're going to get that the tension is equal to 379 newtons now that we have the tension of AB you also know that the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero in statics so you know that the negative tension AB times the actually cosine of 15 degrees plus the tension BC is equal to zero basically what I'm saying is that this is equal to this tension BC because that's the only forces acting on the X so it's this component of the force AB and the com uh, whole force BC because it's going straight to the right but you already know this tension so you plug this number into this formula and you solve for BC and you're gonna get that D tension BC is equal to 366 newtons so we already have two of them we need CD and then we need the angle so basically this is where it gets interesting we got another uh, free body diagram this is the traffic light C and it has a weight of 15 times 9.81 meters per second square so this weight comes out to be 147.15 newtons so you know that the sum of the forces in the x in statics is equal to zero so you know that the let me finish the free body diagram this is the tension bc and this is the tension cd and you know that this angle is theta so by looking at this wire and uh, this uh, diagram you know that the negative tension bc plus the tension CD times the cosine of theta is equal to zero you already know this to be negative 366 plus the tension of CD cosine of theta is equal to zero so 
So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass this to this side and we're gonna get that the tension CD times the cosine of theta is equal to 366. And this is gonna be our formula one. Now you know that the sum of the forces in the y direction in statics is zero. So you can tell that this component of CD is gonna be equal to the weight. So the weight's going down plus the tension CD times the sine of theta is equal to zero, but you know the weight to be 147.15. So you know that the tension of CD times the sine of theta is equal to 147.15. I just put the weight on this side and plug in the value. And this is gonna be our equation two. So what we're gonna do is equation two over equation one. That's what I'm doing. And it comes, I just gonna look something like this. Equation two is tension of CD times the sine of theta over tension of CD times the cosine of theta is equal to 366, actually backwards is equal to 147.15 over 366. Look what happens. The tensions cancel out. Sine of theta over cosine of theta is tang tangent of theta, it's basic trigonometry. So the tangent of theta is equal to 147.15 over 366. So theta is equal to the tangent inverse of 147.15 over 366, which means that theta is equal to 21.9 degrees. Now that you have theta, you can plug it into either equation one or equation two, it doesn't matter. So let's say plug theta into here, solve for TCD, and you're gonna get that TCD is equal to 394 newtons. Final answer for TCD, final answer for theta, final answer for TBC, and no missing one here. Final answer for TAB. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.